What's up people and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully as of tomorrow I will be back in full effect in the whole YouTube world community or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But as of tomorrow I will be done with my final exams for school for this semester. And as I said in my previous video of my channel update I will be posting and creating more content for my channel and hope to see my channel grow more than I have seen it already. Now as you can tell from the title of this video, this video is just going to be a little bit of a PSA I guess to my other fellow small YouTubers out there who are trying to grow their subscriber base and gain more views or whatever the fuck you want to do with YouTube. So basically my main purpose of YouTube is just to hopefully gain some people to watch my videos and laugh when they watch them. I mean, as I've stated before in previous videos, my main purpose is to hopefully make someone laugh. I mean, I do make other kinds of videos, but that's just trying to attract more people. And I get that sometimes that doesn't really work because those people who do subscribe when they see those tutorial videos just probably want to see those tutorial videos. I don't want to sound arrogant or cocky or something, whatever the hell you want to call me. Me, I mean, I do think that I post quality, funny content sometimes. I mean, sometimes I do go back and watch my videos and I'm like, wow, that wasn't freaking funny. Why the hell would you post that? Why the hell would you fucking make that shit? That shit, what the fuck? Fun? Let's just jump right into the point of the video that I'm trying to make. So basically, once I open up YouTube here, you can see my whole homepage. You can see my recommendations and my subscriptions, whatever the hell you can look through. I don't give a fuck. So when I go on YouTube, I think YouTube is trying to be honest with you, I think they're trying. Um, they do have certain options in the actual website that allows smaller people to actually gain some exposure with others. This guy right here, Dom Plays, at the time that I saw his videos, he had about 80,000 subscribers and I only subscribed to him like two or three weeks ago. He now has like 110 subs or 110,000 subscribers. I just saw him here in my recommended videos because I do try and find other small YouTubers. I mean, he's obviously larger in subscribers on a much higher scale than I am. I mean, I only have, I think as of recording this video, I have 160, which in my last video that I posted three weeks ago, I didn't haven't posted a video and I got, and I was at 145, I think at the time of recording that video, which is crazy to me, but like... That's crazy to me because that's this is my channel and I haven't posted a video and I know that a lot of people who are subscribed to me actually subscribe to me because of my tutorial videos. But anyways, that's besides the point. I already explained how I feel about that stuff. So back to the topic of this video, YouTube does try to implement things. If you go to the trending option here on the homepage, you'll see that they have a creator on the rise tab. So basically the point of that actual thing on the trending page is to help smaller YouTubers who are gaining some views. Actually, they're trying to like bump them up to gain even more than they already have. So this guy, most of the time, nine times out of 10, I haven't seen this guy's channel yet, but nine times out of 10, the person that's on the creator of the rise thing has at least 10 to 20,000 subscribers. Now, the only criteria that you have to meet to get onto this actual tab is to have a thousand subscribers or more. But most of the time, they already have 20,000, 30,000. And I feel like now I don't know because I haven't experienced that yet, but I feel as though as once you get to the 10, 15, 20,000 subscriber mark, it's become a lot easier to actually gain more subscribers because you already have a fan base who can tell others about your videos. When you're only at 160 subscribe or yeah 160 subscribers, it's very hard for you to come up. And a lot of the times, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is the creator's fault. Like for me, I feel it is my fault that I haven't gained a lot more subscribers. And one thing that I want to note is that this video is not a video to complain about YouTube that they don't help smaller YouTubers because it's it doesn't matter because it's really almost what you make it. But there are certain things that YouTube can do to help others because a lot of the times i try to look for smaller youtubers who are trying to build a fan base and are actually funny or create creative content but it's really hard to find those people like it's almost impossible to find those people most of the time to actually find someone with a small amount of subscribers that's actually good at what they do they have to use like some crazy tags that allows them to be in with those higher viewed videos like for my videos, the only videos that have over like 200 views are the videos where I do tutorials and I put tags in them that allow 
my videos to be shown with others that have similar tag. But as I said before plenty of times, that's not what I want my video or my channel to be about. I don't want my channel to be a tutorial channel. I mean, I do want to do tutorials to help people because I like helping people, but I want my channel to be more known for the funny aspect of gaming and all that, whatever. Another thing that's holding smaller YouTubers back is that if you go to the search bar here and you type in gaming, they have a gaming section. And as I said before, my channel is mostly associated with gaming. If, if you see my tutorials, they have to do with gaming or helping people make videos for gaming and things like that. But if you look on the latest videos for the gaming section, the trending thing, these people usually have millions of subscribers. million, A million or more is what they have. So there's no way that someone is going to come to this little section and find someone like me on here. Now if I go to my channel here, this is my channel, yeah, 161 subscribers at the moment. If you go to my channel and you click on about, you'll see when I started this channel. <laughs> I started this channel in 2012, but however, it wasn't just me. There was two other people who were going to do the videos with me, but it just didn't work out. And maybe one day I'll talk about how I came, we came about this name. This was actually the exotic burritos because it was three of us, but then two of them, didn't, the, they didn't want to do it. So then I just changed it to the exotic burrito because I had like 11 subscribers at the time. <laughs> so I just kept it. Another thing is, is that. I have 161 subscribers, but a lot of those people are people that I already know. Most of the time when you see someone with 100 subscribers or more, not all the time, but most of the time, the majority of those subscribers are people they know, which is why they don't get a lot of views because when you have subscribers of people who you already know, those people just subscribe to say that they are, to say that they support you. So then if you do get big, they can say that they were subscribed to you from when you only had 100 subscribers. I do know that there are some people who actually are subscribed to me that actually enjoy my content, which, like I always say, I appreciate that a lot. That's pretty much all I had to really say about why smaller YouTubers can't grow on YouTube. One more thing that I do want to note is that though, sometimes I do get notifications from YouTube. Anytime I get a comment on one of my videos, I get an email. And sometimes I get emails saying that I got a comment, but I don't see the comment when I go on my phone to see where it is. So I go on my computer and they're marked as spam. Anytime that that happens, nine times out of 10, it's someone saying, subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. You like my video, I'll like yours or whatever the fuck. I always say smaller YouTubers need to band together to help each other out, but that's not the way we should. Now I get it. You want a higher subscriber count. You think that that's going to help you gain more views, but it's not. The thing that's going to help people gain more views and gain more subscribers is who they are and what they post. Just because you post videos and you get views because you comment on other people's videos doesn't mean that you're going to get those same amount of views in the next video. Also, just because if you, sub you comment on someone's video saying subscribe and I'll subscribe to you and they actually do subscribe to you doesn't mean they're going to watch your videos. Most of the time, those people just subscribe to you just so you subscribe to them back. And then you have a subscriber for no reason. I feel as though if you're going to subscribe to someone, subscribe to them to watch their videos. Don't just do it to be subscribed. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Um, I just felt the need to let that out. If you guys like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. You know all that normal shit. And I'll catch you guys next time with the next video. Um, I have some things in plan. Now that I'm out of school, maybe I'll actually do them and post them. <laughs> My plan from here on out is to gain more subscribers and gain more views and hopefully grow my channel and hopefully someone who watches this video will join along with me on this beautiful, beautiful journey. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you guys watch the end. If anyone does, thank you. I appreciate it and I'll catch you guys next time.